one of the requirements that you have when you're creating your own drawings, creating your own 3D model, particularly when you're trying to specify products, is you will need to be importing surfaces. And what I mean by importing surfaces is actually importing textures. So within our surfaces, in our surface library, we have textures. And textures are images that we add to the surfaces to make them look correct in 3D. So those might be tiles or timber types or stone types or wallpaper. Could be a lot of different images that we need to represent in our 3D model that we're applying to a surface. So that could be a wall surface, floor surface, roof surface, whatever. So we'll be creating surfaces. By creating, I mean we'll take one that's existing and we'll duplicate it. We'll press new and we'll duplicate. We won't ex we won't delete things that are existing. We don't want to replace things that are existing. We want to make new ones. And when we're creating new ones, we'll do it in a naming system that makes it easy to find. So I prefix everything with AED, Archiad, just so it's easy for me to find and locate and keep separated from other things. So when I go into this list, I also have some CB at the end, which is all of the different color bond colors. And so that's a way that I can differentiate between things that I've created and things that I've imported from somewhere else. So that's surfaces. Now, how do we manage the library of where these are found? Just like our library, that we have object library, and that's related to something, we see that there is an embedded library, and we have a linked library. And that linked library means it's an external file that we link into this file. And that's very important. We talked about the file size. We want to keep the file size as small as possible. And so in order to keep it small as possible, we don't want to embed everything in our library manager. Let's have a look at what I mean by that. So when we have our library, we can have embedded library, and we see that that's currently zero bytes. So I haven't put anything in my embedded library. I could directly link textures or other library parts into my embedded library, and what that basically means, it's in the actual file. So that means I can go from, from computer to computer and not lose anything. That sounds like a brilliant idea, except for the fact that when we put it in our library, it's very hard to manage. If we wanted to update that image, it would be very hard to do that. And it makes our file size large. So as we do that more and more and more, we get our big, messy file type that now is slow to open, slow to transfer, slow to do a lot of different things. So making the file size large is very problematic. So instead of embedding, what we want to do is to link. So we can see that there's a location on all these other things. And that's telling us where we find those libraries. Now what do I mean by a library? Again, it could just be a folder. I'm linking a folder and that folder is either containing an object file, a library file, or a texture in this case which would be an image file. So how do we do that? We add. So if we wanted to add, I'm going to start by delinking, unlinking this. So we'll select and we will delete the link, remove selected library. So that's my texture library. So now that's gone. The file is going to reload now without that in it or in, uh, in other cases it would reload with the new libraries that we added into it. So now when I go back into my surfaces, my image now shows, it used to be a, a picture of old bricks. It says old bricks, RMD old brick. It's called old or brick old, but there is no picture there anymore. Where's it gone? That was a linked image. So instead, we get this horrible black and pink or magenta checker. And whenever we see that checker, we know that means it's a missing surface. So I don't want to research for it now, because if I search for it this way and add it into my file, that is going to add it as an embedded image. Instead, I want to relink the folder. So therefore, knowing where that folder is, keeping that folder in the same place, keeping all of the names the same way is essential so that I can continue to link it. So let's do that now. File, Libraries and Objects, Library Manager. I want to add, and I need to choose where I'm adding that from. I would recommend that you want to save that in a place that's on your computer, that's not going to move, that's not going to get in the way of anything else. 
So in this case, I'm saving it to my documents. And it's in a folder called textures. I don't open that folder up because there's lots and lots of subfolders in the textures. That's all the different types of textures that I have. I don't want to import them all individually. I want to import them all together. So I select the texture folder and press choose. And that's now going to link that folder into my file. And as long as that texture folder stays in the same place, I'm always going to have that as a link. Now, what's the problem? If I switched computers, if I stopped working on my computer and worked on someone else's computer, then that texture folder wouldn't be in that same place. It would be removed. It would be unlinked. And because I'm working on a Mac, even if I went to a, a PC, it might be my own PC. Same building because the file system works differently. So instead of a, having a C drive, the filing system works differently in a Mac. It's now under applications or under documents. So let's do the same thing now for our object library. So we'll go back into file, libraries and objects, library manager. Where do we get this one from? The Archicad library 22. If I go add on a Mac, we see we find that under Applications, Graphisoft, Archicad 22, Archicad Library 22. And again, I want to choose to import that whole file. Now you see that I've also got 22 International. And there is a difference between the files, the libraries in Archicad Library 22 International compared to Archicad 22. What's the problem though? They're both called the same thing. So what I'd need to do is to change the file name extension. Maybe I'd put int after for international af um, after it. Otherwise it's going to think that it's the same folder. Now it's from a different place but it's the same name. So I have to make sure that those two are different. It's from a different place and a different name if I want to link different folders. So I have my linked libraries, and if I wanted to move from computer to computer, I'd either need to copy that whole folder, maybe on a USB, and then put it somewhere, and then relink that one again, or the other option is to attach, or the technical word in Archicad is archive this file, so that all of those elements get stuck together, or get tied together, because the symbol is using a belt. So when we go save as, I can choose to save my file as an Archicad archive project. And when we save it as an archive project, we're choosing to link everything that could otherwise get lost. So when we go to options, we can include background images, we can include all parts of our favorites, or all parts of our loaded libraries. That would mean that every library that's added would be included in this file size. We can include all linked textures, include properties in loaded libraries, include all drawings. We might want to break nested hot links and xrefs, so basically meaning that we're not relying on external content to make our file. We want to sever that connection. Maybe later we'd reconnect it, but if we wanted to save an archive file, we probably want to sever that connection and finally compress the file to make it as small as possible. Now the very important one to look at here is the difference between include all parts of our libraries versus include properties in loaded libraries. Meaning that we don't need to link all of our libraries, we only possibly need to link the libraries that are loaded into our project. So generally speaking, if we want to keep the file size smaller, we'll use this one. Whereas if we don't care about file size and we want to make sure that we don't end up running out of our objects, we want to have all of the objects available to us, we'll use this one and that one. Favorites obviously just means it's only going to save the things we've saved as favorites. This one means we're going to save everything. So we've got a choice between those and that's how we can save our libraries when we travel from a computer to computer, but it's still not my recommended method unless you are truly archiving, meaning that you're ready to stop working on that file. If you're going to stop working on the file, save it as a PLA. 